video, man. My name is Bryce Till. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, my buddy Matthew Richards and I took our tubes and went down to southern Oklahoma and did a little bass fishing. We had a lot of fun, caught a few fish, and really enjoyed ourselves. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned. See what happens. Matt Richards special might not work today. I know what the other Matt Richards special, Matt Richards special number two. Oh yeah. I won't say it on camera. I mean, if I, if I soak a giant, you know, people see what bait I'm throwing. Let's fish. There you go, Matt. Hey, that's a smart bass. No, it's not. Hey, Bryce, where are you at? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your fish catching ability? You caught the first one. You're not bad. Maybe a pound. Probably 11 inches. Not a bad bass. There you go. Awesome. First one of the day. First mountain lake bass. Picture. <laughs> he didn't hit it real hard either. I mean, I kind of felt the thump and that was kind of it. Yeah, that's probably about 12 inches, maybe 14. They get bigger. <laughs> oh, he hammered it. There you go, Bryce. That's a catfish. Really? It's a channel cat. On a beaver bait? Yeah. <laughs> Let me get my net over here so I can get this. Yeah, you probably can. Oh man, you know what? I didn't grab any pliers. I, got I hooked him right in the corner of the mouth. Like a bass. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got pliers. I oh, all right. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not a bad little, uh, not a bad little channel cat. Yeah, they're dirty. Oh, it's all good, man. I think I got it. Maybe. It's croaking. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to need those if you can get to them. Yeah, I got them. Oh, there you go. There we go. He ripped out one of his whiskers. No, his whiskers fine. That's the hook. Oh. He's fine. All right. He's croaking. Yeah. Get him back in the water. You want to take a picture? Nah. Got him? That's a be that's a better one, yeah. I foul hooked him too. Did you? Yeah, I got him on the outside end. That's probably about a two and a half pounder. That's probably two. Eh, one and a half. Nah, that's two. Okay. Well, you got scales, don't you? I do have a scale. Yeah, that's, well, yeah, that's probably border two. You want nice fish though. You want to put it on a scale? We can. Mess with you a little bit. Yeah, I just pulled them right there off that. I was, I was, I figured one of us was gonna get something off this. Well, I haven't cast in like 20 minutes. Uh, well, that's probably about a 14 and a half, maybe 15 minutes fish. Yeah, that's probably about a pound and a half, maybe two. That's what I figured, probably about a pound and a half. Well, I definitely put them. If in you a get boat. back over here to me, I've got a scale. I put them in a boat. That's what we came out here to do, Bryce. Put fish in a boat? Yeah, that's a good boat bass. That's a really solid boat bass. Oh, he's growing as I'm getting closer to you. Yeah, that's a good boat bass. Let me try not to lose all my stuff here. Yeah, don't. Well, we'll, we'll judge your. Yeah, I just literally threw it on the bank and uh, drug it off. And it went... You know what? 
I don't have the scale, as a matter of fact. <laughs> you left it in the truck? I think I did. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah, I got the, uh, let's see. That's not a bad one. So where's the mouth sitting at? Here, hold on, let's flip him around. <laughs> don't drop him, I'd like to get a picture. Okay. Let's see, close the mouth, pitch tail, so 15 inches. No, he's 14. Or I can't see up there. Yeah, so uh -oh. zero. So yeah, he's 14 inches. He's probably about a pound and a half. Not bad. I was right at 15. Yeah, so he's am probably I, about a pound. Am I pretty much He's probably about a pound and three quarters. There you go. Yeah, take a picture. <clears throat> Damn, I can't believe I left the scale on the freaking <laughs> truck now. Pound and three quarters, give or take. I'm going to catch a giant now, and I don't have a scale. I said, it's a good bass. Yeah. Hey, hey YouTube, that's what a bass looks like. <laughs> that's what we came out here to do. Yeah. You got him? Yeah, there we go. Better one? Oh, that's a good one, Matt. You gotta get a look at this one. You gotta land it first, bud. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, Christ! <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That Get one's that, code. that one's probably two and a half. <laughs> You forgot your scale, buddy. This is a solid four and a half, four and a half pound fish, dude. Okay. Maybe five. That's over five. That's over four pounds. All right. You're definitely gonna have to take a picture of this one. Okay. They came right from underneath that log, too, man. It picked up so slim to me. Well, let me catch one while you're getting back this way. Oh, man, you forgot your scales, too. Yeah, this one's this over four pounds. Okay. That's probably about four and a half. Hey, Bryce, you want to see what a four-pound bass looks like? I saw a few of those the other day. That's a good one. It's got a tiny little mouth, though. Oh, I thought that was it right there. That's a good one. That's probably three-something. No, that's four pounds. Okay. No, it is. I'm, I said okay. <laughs> three nine. Three nine seven. I should have seen if you want to place some money on this. <laughs> One dollar, ten dollars for the biggest bass, and ten dollars for the big most fish. Be careful. Do what? Be careful. I might start catching them. That'd be my luck. Did you get one? No. Oh yeah, I did. That's a fish. That's a nice bass, guys. No, it's a smallmouth. Yeah. Hey, is that your first small one? Yeah, that's my first one, and he freaking choked it. That's not bad. That's not the small mouth that I've ever caught. That's worth it for me. Oh, dude, get up there. I need to. I need to get some freaking line out. Hold on. There we go. That's the first small mouth, huh? Yeah, he freaking swallowed it too. I'm hoping that this guy doesn't die. I'll just cut the line. Well, hold on, let me see it. I hate to do that. I might be able to get in underneath this gill and get it out. Yeah, I was going to say, you could definitely do that. Here, uh, let me hit my button and get some more line out. All right, I got that. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Get myself situated, and then the pliers are in here. What color is that? Watermelon red. I was digging out a freaking backlash and he was there the whole time. He just swallowed it. I feel bad. It's not that small mouth. He's not bleeding or anything. I just it's not bad. Pretty close to a pound. Cut the line and leave the hook in it. Oh, there we go. Got it right there. Grab that hook. Try not to pull on his gills too All much. All right, there you go. There we go. Dump him in the water. Watch him off. Want a picture? Yeah, that's my first small mouth. He's not even bleeding. That's what I'm talking about. I love doing surgery on fish and getting them and they're not bleeding. That's a nice small mouth. Yeah. Okay. Small mouth stress out real easy. See, there he goes. Can't believe you're not going to put your first small mouth on your YouTube channel. I, I might. I might put that one on there. Oh! What color was that? 
You have a net, you idiot. Use it. No, grab this fish. Was it watermelon red? Huh? Watermelon red? Yeah. Really? Really. The watermelon red lizard. Catch is, what are you up to now? Two? Two bass and a catfish. <laughs> so I've got you with my one fish so far. Yeah. Not a bad one. Still not as big as mine, but that one, well, hold on, let me see it. M maybe your first one. Here, I'll put it on the. There you go. 13 inches, probably. Uh, just a touch over 14. Oh, uh, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, it's a little bit longer. I actually had it. Uh, yeah, right. Actually, yeah, about 14 and three quarters. I didn't have the. I was too far forward. I was mouth. Yeah, I was. Yeah, that's a keeper. There we go. If you were to be fishing a boat tournament, that would be going in the boat. Oh yeah, that'd be a live oil fish, for sure. Set the hook on that one the right way. How'd you set it, Bryce? <laughs> Walk me through it. How did you set that hook? He went dink, and I reeled my slack in, and then I said, yeet! <laughs> That's how you do it, man. <laughs> See, and you were worried about not being able to do it. What'd I tell you, Bryce? That's getting used to it. I don't... I don't know if I lean back that far. I'm proud of you, son. All right, thanks, Paul. Hey, Paul, look at that bass. I'm proud of you, son. I know I don't say enough, but I'm proud of you, son. So I caught my first smallmouth. I caught another pretty mountain lake largie. I caught my first mountain lake channel cat. And all using baits that I made. I saw that one. I saw him eat it. That was pretty cool. Don't high stick it. You want to give yourself some more slack. There we go. That's good fish. Not not a bad one. Oh. Get your hand in mouth. Uh, well, I'm having to reach over this other rod. There we go. That's a size fish. Not a bad one. I was kind of bringing it in. It had came up to the top, and uh, yeah, he he crushed it. The old coffee scent. All right, let's get those rods situated. All right, it's not a not a bad one. A couple pounds, probably. Probably probably pound and a half. Not bad. Yeah, pound, pound. Yeah, probably about a pound, pound and a half. Not a bad fish. Hey, wait. Are we tied again? Yeah, but I still got big fish for the day. Yeah. I need that big time kicker fish for this video. Like a seven plus. When I don't have a scale. He's on there. Get one? Yep. Right, worm? Yep. Where'd you get it? Come on. That's a good one. Nice. That's over five. Woo, boy. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That one's probably about four or five. It's like, that's way bigger than four, dude. Nah. Yeah. Way bigger. You forgot the scale. I did. Well, I got my ass kicked today. <laughs> that's going to be a new PB, bro. I don't know what it, how much it measures. I'm trying. It's over 17. It's probably about 19 or 20. It's probably about it's probably about four and a half pounds. Nice. I can't believe I forgot my scale. I'll catch big. That ribbon tail worm? Yeah. Where'd it come off? Oh, right off something over there. Yeah. Hold on, I'll take a picture. Definitely got to get a picture of that. 
like okay so it's almost as long as the board oh bloody tail too that's that's a female yeah I'm gonna give her a little dip. Hold on to it. Well, I won't run. There we go. It's just hot out. I don't want her to get too dry. There you go. Let me see. That's Hold a on. toad, bro. That's over five. Mm, That's over. Measure it again. Bro, it's as long as this box. We'll measure your box when you get back. I mean. Nah, that's probably about four, seven. Hold it down. I'm going to close the mouth. It's 22 inches probably. Nah, it's 20. Yeah, that's about five pounds. Four and a half, five pounds. Because that's 17 yeah, right that's there. That, that's a stud, dude. I'm going to say five probably if uh, not it's close i mean dude look it's lip right now is at the corner of the box right here when we here, get I'll, back we'll measure the corner i'll of the put box. right there that's the corner of the box and it goes all the way to the past the 17 that's 18 inch line right there well anyways i'm putting her back i'm need, don't need to have her out of the water this long i've got some pictures let her kick off real good you can probably let her go bye sweetheart thank you for playing the game there you go that's what we came for bud ribbon tail worm huh yep the old 405 fishing watermelon red ribbon tail and that one happened to be a garlic salt bait that i made in a video earlier this year and if you haven't seen that video i'll drop a link in the descriptions of this video <laughs> How about that? Hey, weren't we betting a hundred dollars or something? I uh, know you never shook on it. <laughs> you, had, I, you had your chance. You had your chance to take twenty dollars off of ten dollars for most fish and ten dollars for biggest fish. Oh man! Good boy. Set. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, man. I really wish I would have had a scale for that. Um, big bass that I caught but I left it in the truck that was my fault uh, we had a lot of fun did catch some fish on some of the lures that I made so that was pretty awesome uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button and uh, if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and as always thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it